So I'll give you another perfect example of a hard shut off expansion valve. As you can see, there's 206 PSI on the high side, 68 PSI on the low side. And it is barely moving. As you can see, it's moving at point tenths. One tenth of a PSI on the low side is slowly going up. And that is a hard shut off expansion valve. That is not a plugged or clogged expansion valve. This is normal. And if you see, this is taking a really long time for some people. And you may be going because somebody said that if it doesn't equalize over pretty fast, it's a restricted expansion valve and that must be the source of your poor cooling problem. So say for example, on this Audi, uh, inexperienced technician or a technician who's using old school methods go, oh, the source is the expansion valve. So we have 14 hours to get to that expansion valve under this hood, Mr. Customer, at 200 and some dollars an hour, unless you're somewhere cheaper, we're in an expensive area. And what a surprise you get when you put in the new expansion valve and it does the exact same thing and you still have a cooling problem because it was something else. See you guys later.